just talking. We got some Georgia roots here. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> let's talk a little Oak and Ivy, and that's a little preview into what we're talking about with the drinks. Okay. Beautiful. So Oak and Ivy is an American craft whiskey cocktail bar. Joining us in studio with a look at some of the drinks that you can still indulge in, even though summer is winding down. They still got their summer menu in full effect is lead creative bartender Greg Rodriguez. Good to have you, Greg. Thank you for having me. I love it. And I'm just looking at these drinks and we were talking because now I'm not a real whiskey drinker, but if you kind of dress it up a little bit and maybe mix some fun stuff in it, then I can handle it. And that's kind of what you guys do. Absolutely. Yes. Okay, nice, nice. So let's kind of go over what we have here. Beautiful. Yeah. So we, we it's an American whiskey bar where we're a full cocktail bar. So okay, we try good. to emphasize on using American ingredients, American whiskey in particular, very but cool. using our talents to create lovely cocktails, including some of our summer uh, uh, delicacies here. Yeah, delicacies that we have. So now this is the American whiskey that we're talking about, right? Yeah, so okay. I have um, a couple American whiskeys uh, based out of Kentucky. Four Roses ah. Distilleries, they make a lovely uh, small batch version of, of bourbon, uh, the mm. yellow label. Uh, they blend different types of uh, whiskeys from different barrels in different parts of their rick houses. Interesting. They create a lovely combination of flavors to that. And that's going to be in our whiskey smash, which are our Right mains. here? Yes. Absolutely. Okay, right in, in the, the middle. middle. So I see some some lemon, or what do we have in there? Get that yellow flavor. At Oak and Ivy, we, we try to emphasize seasonality also, oh. using seasonal fruits. Oh, okay. Um, and, our, and our whiskey smash is our mainstay in our uh, seasonal menu. Got it. But we uh, rotate seasonal herbs and fruit, which are going to be pineapple and thai oh, basil. pineapple. Yeah. That's what that yellow is. Duh, that's the other <laughs> So pineapple and basil. Okay, so the basil it, it kind of gets a, a nice little balance to the sweetness there. absolutely yeah okay. it gives a, a lovely herbaceousness to it that really counteracts to like to, to uh, the sweetness of the pineapple okay very cool now th now I wanted to go to this one because you know that that Georgia connection absolutely. that's what I like I have family from Georgia and he used to play as you can see here, football <laughs> at a Division II school there. Okay, so what's the Georgia influence here? I love this. Um, so um, obviously bourbon is a big thing in Georgia, but it peaches. Is. Peaches yes. are quite fantastic and wonderful. And what I decided is one of my creations for the summer menu, I decided to create a rosé poached peach puree. Ooh, so we grab some good. lovely peaches and we poach them in some still rosé wine, Oof, add a little cinnamon good. to that, um, mm. and blend all that, that up to have a, a lovely homemade peach puree. Gosh, that's yeah. so good. And you and you garnish it too. You're going to do a little something Absolutely. with the garnish? Okay, yeah. 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 So Show you how you finish it I don't off. Deniby, well, um, we, we, we like to be very entertaining when it comes to our bartending and our flair. So Fun. we love to use some torches Ooh, in there. Oh, yeah. So Let's to torch it. Finish garnishing the Miss Savannah right over here. Ooh. I'm going to be uh, torching some peaches, making some grilled peaches. Oh, yummy. Grilled fruit. Yeah. Uh, me. So that flavor is coming all the way through. And I bet that's super yummy once you kind of you know, put it on your drink as a little garnish, Absolutely, right? and the great thing about cocktails is every aspect of the cocktail is important when it comes to the drink. So yeah. if we're garnishing with some grilled peaches, obviously we're, we're we going to be- to bring out that flavor, absolutely. that peach flavor. Bring out those flavors, those peach that flavors. And every time you, you take a lovely little sip of your drink, mm. you get that nice aroma of the mint and it's those lovely there. grilled peaches. Uh, so fresh, too. right? Yeah, the absolutely. mint and then offset with the peach. Oh my gosh. That rosé you could do all day. That's good. <laughs> I like that. Okay. And last but not least, let's go over here. So the last one is a lovely combination of flavors. Uh, I like to say is a variation on a Mai Tai cocktail. Okay. Yep, it's that's called the nice. Golden Isle. So oh. it's a, a beautiful flavors blend together with pineapple rum. Oh, that some, sounds good. Yeah, some walnut liqueur. Yeah. Brandy, okay. uh, apricot brandy. Okay, so it's more of a sweet taste Absolutely. to it. Absolutely, okay, to finish yeah. it off with a little German Amaro to all of that. And it's just some uh, lovely flavors yeah. boom, uh, put together yeah. very nicely. And we finish it off with a little lime juice and some passion fruit syrup. That's so pretty. And this is the color is so pretty too. It's just so visually appealing as well. Well, hey, if you're like me and you don't know a lot about whiskey, or if you're a whiskey lover and you kind of like to change it up a little bit, Check out Oak and Ivy. They have some really creative craft cocktails in which they're incorporating some American whiskey. So definitely get your drink on. <laughs> Oak and Ivy, check it out. Monday through Thursday, 1 p.m. to 11 p.m. Friday and Saturday, open to 1 a.m. Thank you, Greg. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay.